Welcome to this demonstration about the supervisor capabilities in WebEx Contact Center. The supervisor can work in different applications. Either he can use a complete web-based desktop or it can be integrated into Microsoft Teams or Cisco WebEx app. From here, the supervisor can see all historical and real-time information as well as he can control the service center. That means he can manage opening hours, turn on and turn off overflows, etc. The system has a complete rights and roles management behind, so it can be determined who can control what. Let's have a look how the supervisor can work in the WebEx app. This is WebEx app. In WebEx app, we have the capability to add the contact center from Cisco as well. On this dashboard, you can see what's currently in progress on all different channels, what's in queue, what is the longest call in queue, for example, as well as the service level. There are filter options in here so that you can filter down to a specific queue or to a specific channel. With this, we can also go and manage the teams. Besides that, the agent and supervisor can see this performance data. Within here, the supervisor can see either the team itself, so what has been handled by the team for over all different channels, or he can see even what was his contribution, so what did he do on his own as well. Through the filters on top, he can filter again on the team or the queues, the channel type, the intervals, and even the duration to have a look onto, for example, today. Let's have a look on the, on the customer experiences. As a supervisor, he can see all information about the MPS and CES score as well. So here he can see how successful calls have been answers, answered and if customers are really satisfied. Let's come to the supervisor management. Within the supervisor management, the supervisor has the capability to control the service center. Each of these lines represents a call flow. Could also be a media flow. Within these flows, the supervisor can set, for example, the text-to-speech announcements, for example, the welcome announcement. Or control the opening hours, which includes also regional and worldwide vacation and holiday days. Specific messages can also be placed in here and be modified, for example, a closed message or an emergency message. Through a switch, the call flow can be set to different options, for example, for emergency routing. In case of a fire alarm, the supervisor can turn on the fire alarm mode. Now all calls are going to be sent to the specific other locations which are responsible for that certain service. Or even can be forwarded to external phone numbers or external service centers. Also the call priority can be set. So you can set here the priority for this certain hotline. The recording controls can also be centrally managed in here. So that means turn on and turn off recording for this certain hotline. The same is for the position in queue announcement so that the announcement is played back to the customer, you are in position number five in queue. Callbacks can also be turned on and off from here as well as the overflows can be controlled as well. Let's have a look on the customer journey. On the customer journey, we can see a dashboard. This dashboard can be used to, to visualize, visualize the uh, amount of traffic on the certain hotlines. For example, two calls went into here and came into a team down to one agent. The same as well applies to omnichannel views. Another example of a real-time dashboard is this one. Here you can see as well the contacts and queue available agent as well as the service level. So at the moment it's 96% uh, for the telephone. Historical dashboards can also be used. In here, the same information is displayed, but now we can control 
the date and time. If the supervisor wants to see his team members, he can go to the team performance details. Within team performance details, the supervisor can see every agent and its state, and even a state change will occur immediately. Last but not least, the supervisor can also start the reporting engine analyzer from here and start any kind of report that has been created or he can create his own report if he wants to. This is only an example report where we can see the queues and what has been completed from context and the perspective. This data can be exported if necessary as well into Excel and CSV files or can be sent out via a scheduler as an email to certain persons. Thank you very much for watching this video.